That's a good question. Actually, a lot of people ask us why is it brown, and the reason was because uh, it was made of wool back in the Spain, and, and that was the cheapest wool, I think. So uh, the habit is a sign of belonging to the order. It's the way we call it Our Lady's habit. The scapula is very special. It's a sign of consecration to Our Lady. Uh, the veil, veil is a sign of service. And so the black veil, in comparison with the white veil, is it's till death. <laughs> so it's a lifelong commitment. So, um, the, yeah, it's... It's, it's a wonderful, I remember receiving the habit because of course the first year you're going around in your normal clothes and you suddenly feel, ah, I belong. <laughs>
to Holland, but eventually um, the Gestapo caught up with her and she was taken to Auschwitz and died about just seven, seven days later, I think. So I thought she was a great, a great model for us because she's, you know, she's done so many things and she was very close to us. Again, with, well, why should we pray? Well, God created us for a relationship with Him, and any relationship needs communication, and that's what prayer is about. It's not an end in itself, it's a means to an end, and so if we want to grow in our relationship with God, then we need to converse with Him quite frequently. And so that's why we should pray, because if we're made for this relationship with God, and that relationship is going to bring us the greatest fulfillment that we, could, we couldn't really even dream of, then, then we're going to want to do what, what will lead to that. So that's why we should pray. How should you pray as, as non carmelites non-religious? I think St. Teresa was very good with this. She said, pray as you can, not as you can't. You know, find the way that helps you. And each of us are unique. And even in our human relationships, we relate differently. Each person relates differently. And so you have to find the way that's best for you. Having said that, it's important to remember that God wants this relationship more than we even could ever want it. And that the initiative is with Him. And so it's not as if it's us struggling to find Him, struggling to get there. It's more of us making room for Him. And that's where we need some kind of some times of silence during our day, especially early in the morning and late at night, to have some time of silence with, with God. And then, and then also during the day, just at, at special time, when you're waiting for something, when you're waiting for a computer program to run or something like that, just those little moments to, to acknowledge that he, he's there, he's always there. And you can always speak to him. It's like, I know with um, the text messages and everything like that these days, people want to be in communication. And that's so important to remember that he's always there and the communication with him is no misunderstandings. He's listening to our heart and we are, we are speaking so he understands exactly. So I thought you know, that's, that's very important to have those times during the day and just to remember that sometimes prayer is hard and, but he is always there and even if we don't feel he's there and that's important because it's a fact of it's faith and it's not feelings because sometimes you can feel that you wonder if he's exist, if he exists, is he, is he up there, does he really care? And it's just that faith, yes he does, you know, and he's wanting this relationship more than we are, so it becomes a matter of making room and that's where the silence and the solitude come in. And um, also when you start to pray often you'll, I remember even me, you seem to get worse sometimes and you think, I was so much nicer before I became a Carmelite. But the truth is, when you start coming closer to God, God is all light and you start seeing the parts of yourself that aren't all that good. And it can seem that you're getting worse, but, but it's not true. It's, um, you're just coming closer to God and he's just showing you the things that maybe you need to, to work at. And I mean, it's not just you doing the work, but it's him. He will do it for you. So that's very important for you. Uh, there's all different ways of praying. Of course, there's vocal prayer, the, the masses of the prayer, the best prayer. And then there's the rosary, the liturgy of the hours. But having also that time for the personal prayer and the conversation with God, and that's all it is. And I think we can kind of get these lofty ideas about it being some high spiritual experience, but it's a conversation with a friend, who we know loves us and, and wants to give himself to us and he is giving himself to us and he wants to give us that gift to the full.